Hello and welcome to a little unboxing video for Iron Chest. Iron Chest will be the final expansion for the Solo Dungeon Crawler Iron Helm. So this is what you will get um, when it comes from the Game Crafter. It's in their small stout box, a nice sturdy little box. It looks like a iron chest, hence the name. Um, the purpose for the actual box is once you get all the cards that come in um, Iron Chest put into your copy of Iron Helm, there's new dividers and everything else we'll see when we open this up. Um, this box is going to be pretty much full. So all of your chits, bits, dice, um, the minis that come with this, and also if you happen to own the Iron Helper that was designed or put together by Ben Haskett, that'll also fit in here. So you'll be able to fit everything that's not cards basically in this box and all of your cards for the game will go into this box. So let's take a look really quick. Let's see what's inside the box. First take a little, little uh, adventure around the box here. Um, and in the back shows all the different uh, adventure packs that come in it and uh, little expansions and what have you. So let's open this bad boy up, see what's inside. Okay, and this is how it'll come. Cellophane, I, I took off the cellophane, um, but let's take a look to see what comes in there. The Game Crafter with their, with their brown paper to keep things from moving around. And we'll open that last, those are the minis, those are pretty cool. Um, one of the things that I did to save some money or to make the cost lower for everybody is I um, did not have all the cards sorted. There's four different adventure packs in here. So they will come together, all mixed together. That saves you $4, because I'm able to take that $4 off the cost of the game itself. So let's take a look at all these cards and give you a quick idea of what you'll do. So this is exactly how they'll come to you in a bag, all mixed together. You'll have to take a couple of minutes to sort them all out. Um, but at the top of each card, there'll be a symbol. So you'll just basically be making piles, matching those symbols up, and you'll go through the whole deck and organize your cards. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, but let's take a quick look at um, some of the things that come in here. Um, lots of new cards. A um, whole bunch of uh, affliction cards, tons of loot cards, trapping cards. I'll organize this and probably come back and show you um, them all organized. But uh, as you can see, there's just a there's a lot of a lot of content in this in this game. Um, so, but outside of those four adventure packs, what else comes in here is new dividers. So the dividers that come with the original game, they just said Adventure Pack 1, Adventure Pack 2. Well, now that all the Adventure Packs are out, we actually know the title for each Adventure Pack. So it'll say AP7, so Adventure Pack 7, and the name of the actual adventure. And it'll also tell you the level difficulty. That was uh, one, of the, uh, one of you folks requested that I add this, which is actually very smart, so that you know what level each adventure actually is. Um, new types of cards that come in this adventure. There's new um, dividers for that. You have a divider for the Lonely Troll Inn, uh, Realms and Relics, Loot and Lure, and Beast and Burdens. With those, uh, three of those come in, are from here. Uh, and the Spire Zogar is also in here as the, as the fourth. So I thought it was nice just to give you guys um, new dividers for the, for the main game box. Um, also included is the Random Encounters expansion and that gives you there's an instruction card for that and on the back side's a little poem and some artwork and then here's the random encounters expansion and essentially what this does is you track your dungeon level on this card instead of the little map card and you use one of the minis that you'll see in a minute and as you go from floor to floor, you're passing these icons, and each one of these icons um, does something different. So it adds another little uh, layer to the game, and you can kind of see what's coming up, and it'll make you make some decisions and choices. And then each type of each one of these maps is associated with the level or difficulty of the dungeon. So if you're in a level three dungeon, you would use this card. This is for a level one or a, the base game. Uh, level four, uh, level two. And they're double-sided, 
so with different icons on each side so they're different so you can get a, a quite a, a vast variety of options um, also in this comes the instructions it will basically go over uh, how to separate your cards and what each adventure kind of does and when you go through here you will find these cards these are basically the art that would normally be on a booster pack but instead they are just actual cards there are four of them one for each pack and each one of these is actually an instruction card so one side has the cool artwork that you'd have on the actual booster pack and on the other side is instructions and it shows the icon for each pack so you'll go through the deck and match up all the cards there are 18 for each one of these and there's instructions on each one of these that tell you how to use that particular booster pack and what it does for you most of this uh, contents that come in um, iron chest is optional um, you can add some of it or all of it however you want to do it it does add difficulty to the game adds a lot more variety um, we'll go over how all that works in another video, how each one of these packs works. But for now, you get a general sense that there's quite a bit of content in here. Um, also comes with a few of these minis that the Game Crafter now is manufacturing, which I think are freaking awesome. A little green dice to track your henchman's um, mor uh, morale. So here's a couple of the little um, figures. We got a little uh, ranger type character. Little, I think he's a, a male, a male ranger. So you got him. Um, we have this female Viking warrior. I think she's really cool looking. I'd be interested to see some of you guys paint these. I can, uh, and it's really cool because they have like cobblestone ground on each one of them and then of course you got yourself a little wizard with a sword so you can choose one of these and you'll be using those to move around on here if you decide to use the random encounters in expansion so this will track what level you're on and just adds a little bit more um, theme to the game so as you can see quite a bit of content in this box it's going to retail for uh, $29.99 but uh, hopefully through this crowd sale we get that price down in the 17 dollar range which i think is a, a very fair price you're getting quite a few cards all unique artwork there's a, almost every card has unique artwork there's very few repeat repeats in here so it was a lot of work on my end to get all that put together so i think 17 18 dollars or whatever it ends up being um, through the crowd sale is a very good price and like I said, I'll do uh, other videos explaining how each one of the packs works, but I really just want to do a quick video to let everyone see what's actually going to come in the box. Thank you very much.